Special presentation and recognition of Mindful Kids Peace Summit. Thank you, Mrs. Alhadef. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to introduce a special presentation in recognition of Mindful Kids Peace Summit and join with Adam Aveen, creator of Woof Shanti Children's Wellness Foundation to raise awareness of utilizing mindfulness in education to lower stress and violence. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. al for inviting me to speak today. Uh, thank you, uh, members of the school board. Um, last month, the Florida Department of Education approved a rule mandating mental and emotional health education for middle school and high school students. Districts are required to provide five hours of instruction for grades six through 12. Now, I don't think five hours is enough, but it's a start. A few months ago, I was honored to be invited to give a TED Talk about getting mindful and social emotional learning programs into our schools, why mental health education is so important to stopping the violence and using our voice to make a positive difference in the world. I'm here today to tell you why mindful and social emotional learning programs are crucial for our schools. I believe that the key to ending violence is to teach kids to be mindful and deal with emotions and stress. These techniques are important for daily life and can help deal with trauma. By teaching coping tools to kids today, we may prevent another suicide or school shooting in the future. That's why I started the Wafshanti Children's Wellness Foundation, a nonprofit organization that teaches kids mindfulness and social emotional learning K through 12. For our early learning track, we have Wafshanti, a dog character that teaches through fun and games and promotes health and wellness and peace and positivity. In fact, Shanti means peace. We teach kids ages three to 10 years old relaxation and happiness techniques, including breathing exercises, mindful movements, positive thinking, and how to interact with kindness. All of this is supported by serious science, which shows that mindfulness, social emotional learning, yoga, and meditation can help reduce illness, increase focus, help do better both academically and athletically. And when you practice these things on a daily basis, they really do help with your mental and your physical health. Mindfulness affects our body, physiology, <laughs> blood pressure, the way our brain functions. We can see how mindfulness affects our own breathing, muscle tension, or heart rate. As with Shanti, I travel to schools and children's hospitals to share a curriculum with the kids. In the five years that we've started with Shanti, we've produced seven books, a free mobile app with signature games like our Gratitude and Laughing Games, over 100 videos which run on local PBS stations, uh, in the Children's Television Network, which is in children's hospitals across the country, and in Adventure to Learning, which is in 25,000 schools. Anxiety, depression, bullying, anger, suicide, and homicide have doubled among kids and teens in the past few years. Suicide is the number two cause of death among minors. 70% of teens, according to the New York Times, say mental health issues are the number one problem they face. We need to make mental health education a priority for everyone because things like cyberbullying are not okay, and killing people in schools, nightclubs, grocery stores, yoga studios, or places of worship must not become the norm. I'm doing what I can to teach about coping with emotions and interacting with others and stop the next kid from hurting himself, herself, or someone else. It starts with teaching mindfulness and social emotional learning. Some people think mindfulness is all about deep breathing. Teens can practice breathing techniques before a test and it'll help them focus and relax and no one would even know they're doing it. But mindfulness isn't only about breathing. Mindfulness is about paying attention to what's happening now instead of, instead of worrying about yesterday or tomorrow, focusing on something other than the negative thoughts going on in our head and if our mind wanders, learning how to bring it back. If kids can learn to be mindful, it helps them find peace, which then spreads to their parents, teachers, and friends. It's contagious. So if we can reach kids while they're in school, then these techniques will become part of their daily routines, and then they'll be better prepared to face all the ups and downs of life. Before I started high school, I wanted to expand our curriculum to older kids 11 to 17 years old. There's no dog character in the older curriculum. It's a lot more serious lessons and techniques. So I founded the Kids Association for Mindfulness and Education, a place where kids can come together and collaborate to get these mindful programs into schools. Mindfulness, social emotional learning, and emotional intelligence are mandatory in other countries, just like math and science are mandatory. And I believe that these mindful programs should be in the core curriculum of American schools as well. Fortunately, just like the law in Florida, that's already starting to happen. Survivors from MSD and other amazing kids are working on these gun issues, and I'm so proud of them. And while they're doing that, I'm working on doing what I know how to do, which is get these social emotional programs into schools. To help make that happen, I hosted and co-founded the International Online Mindful Kids Peace Summit. The summit was five days online geared towards teens and tweens as part of the annual curriculum for middle school and high schools across the globe. Each day was a different theme, 
and we address subjects like diversity, inclusion, communication, kindness, anti-bullying, mindfulness as a tool to deal with stress, positive psychology, self-awareness, self-regulation, self-compassion, resilience, and so much more. I got to speak with many of the pioneers in the mindfulness and psychology field as well. We also had 70 subject matter experts, celebrities, and athletes speak. One way that we can incorporate the new Florida rule for mental health education is to incorporate programming for these monthly code red drills. These drills are necessary yet traumatic for many students and teachers. I've interviewed both and they feel disadvantaged by not knowing how to reduce their stress or calm themselves down. Both kids and teachers freak out, as one teacher told us, because the anxiety is magnified. I'm looking forward to working with you all or anyone you tasked me to work with to get these, to get these uh, programs into schools and to incorporate programming for these monthly code red drills. I'm also going to be speaking with the peer counseling advisors next month. We can visit the schools, train the teachers, the administrators, uh, visit with the kids themselves, hold periodic assemblies, or even watch the Mindful Kids Be Summit which holds over 45 hours of mental, social, and emotional education that teachers can pick and choose from in order to meet the new five-hour requirement. We are re-releasing the Mindful Kids Peace Summit next month, September 23rd to the 27th during Peace Week for teachers to show their students as we plan to do each year during Peace Week. I hope you encourage all schools to watch the summit. Teachers can have their students watch as little or as much of it as they want. We also have videos, lesson plans, discussion points, and activities for parents and teachers to download too. Many of the experts at our summit gave similar advice, that it's crucial to learn mindfulness and social emotional learning in addition to academics. These are essential life skills. They're necessary to get a good job, keep a good job, be happy, healthy, and navigate life. I believe that everyone should have access to this kind of social emotional education. That's what I will be working on in the coming years with my mom, who is the executive director of the foundation and organizes all the details of the program. And for that to happen, I need your help implement mindful and social emotional learning programs into our schools K through 12. It doesn't have to be with Shanti programs, it can be any good program. And if you don't know what kind of program or where to start, we'd help you figure it out. Let's work together to make guidelines so this can happen sooner rather than later, to stop the suicides and homicides and, and to help kids grow up to be well-functioning members of society. We, parents, teachers, and kids need to unite to make mental, social, emotional education a priority for everyone. It has to start now in schools if we want to change the world. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Adam. Can we please have a picture? Absolutely. Oh, yes, Ms. Levinson has a comment. Yes, I'd just like to say something. I, I happen to know Adam and know of his wonderful work, and I just want to thank you for such a young person to be so committed to mindfulness and social emotional learning through your books, through all the other programs, and through your Mindful Kids Peace Summit. It's really exceptional that someone of your age is taking on this initiative. And Mr. Runcie, I'd love if he could have an opportunity to serve on your committee. Yeah. Yeah, so I, again, Adam, uh, thank you. I really enjoyed listening to you today. Um, we have uh, formed a mindfulness committee uh, primarily with um, teachers, educators involved in it to figure out how we can um, offer this to our students across the district. Uh, we're working with some universities now that offer a curriculum as well, but I'd love to have um, your input, your participation in that as we try to formulate this and figure out how we can roll it out throughout Broward County so that all kids can have the opportunities that you just described today. So um, Mr. Goals actually our, our key administrator working on it, so I'll have him get your information. And at our next um, coming together convening, uh, we'll, we'll certainly try to uh, invite you and make sure that you're able to come. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.